So apparently in Ukraine, we got boots on the ground now. Yay! Because they want to make sure that the weapons are being distributed to where they should be distributed to. They're not an ally. This war has nothing to do with us. We should keep our, our money, our labor, our troops, our bodies out of there. But politicians love war. They treat, these people in charge treat the world like a fucking video game. They treat human life like a fucking video game. And it's fucking sad, dude. America has become the bad guy. <laughs> now, America's traditionally been like, oh, it's like the good guy. They stand up for, you know, oppress people while they were oppressing people. Um, it's kind of weird how America was started. It's very confusing, you know, when slave owners were complaining about being slaves themselves. But you know, they did a lot of good things, okay, so, they did a lot of good things, uh, and then we fucked it all up, weak men have fucked all this shit up, like, I think that, I think that women should be able to vote if they are a taxpayer. If you're not on welfare, you should be able to vote. Anyway, like, they keep sending people to fucking war. They keep sending our troops to war. They keep on t antagonizing people in other countries. The federal government is completely out of control. They need to be shut down at this point. Um, everything needs to be shut down except for defense um, so nobody invades us we need to shut down anything that is well keep like the di diplomacy open with other countries economic things to keep our country going to keep our people <clears throat> going but the federal government the congress like what have they fucking done what have they done? All they do is spend money. All they do is devalue our currency. They don't do anything that benefits the American people no more. They send our money to other countries. Or they pocket it themselves. You know what they do is they... <clears throat> they invest in different, different things to make themselves rich. So it, what it looks like is they fucking push policies that they've invested in. Okay, so like... What would you invest in now? Uh, creating weapons. Uh, Lockheed Martin would probably be a, be a good investment. Um, not right now, but before the Ukraine war started or whatever. <clears throat> um, the, just like the pharmacy thing. Pushing the va fucking vaccines. Uh, if you don't see what's happening right now with these politicians... A lot of, well, a lot of people are fucking blind to see. They'll, they'll call me, they'll just brush me off as a conspiracy theorist when, dude, I'm not, I don't fully believe, like, all the conspiracies. Do I, like, shed light on it? Do I think it's possible? Do I think it's possible that uh, Jesus, um, not Jesus, but Adam and Eve was put here by God and all this stuff happened in the fucking Bible was true? Yeah. Do I think it's possible that we're a simulation? Yeah. Because I'm open-minded, man. There's not enough concrete evidence that shows me otherwise. When you know that, when you look at history, and I don't, you can't take everything you, you, you get from history, literally. But what you can do is 
you can look at human nature and see how it's evolved. See, it hasn't really evolved much. We're still, we might have better technology. We might have more knowledge. But we're still basically reptiles when it comes down to the primal fucking instincts. And you can see this with women right now. You know, women are acting the way they are just because of the way the environment is. Um, they would have acted this way at any point in, in history. It's just the environment. In 10 years, everything can get ultra conservative and women can go back to wearing dresses and cover themselves up and having some type of self-respect. And then it can switch again. It's just the environment. That's all it is. And I bring up women, I don't, I'm not trying to bash them. I've done plenty of that, but they're just e easily programmed like a, ch like a child. But they all look the same, man. They all look the same. They all fucking dress the same. They all follow the same fucking patterns. Not all. But you get what I'm saying, generally speaking. Generally speaking, not all. But... They follow trends, man. I gotta have the latest trend. I gotta have the latest this. I gotta the latest that. I gotta follow what they say. The celebrity says. Is it fucking easily programmed like a kid? Um, here's some more news with Twitter. Um, Elon's talking about having a blue check mark you have to pay for to be verified. Eight bucks a month. So anyone can have a blue check mark. But he also said there's going to be something, something underneath that that shows that you're a person, uh, a prominent figure, you know, like somebody that, like you're legit, you're the legit owner of the, of the Twitter handle. And I hear all these looks. Oh, I told you he's a greedy son of a bitch. He's got a, you know, he's got a, a dude. How is he going to pay the bills, man? All these advertisements are leaving. He's got to pay the bills some way. You know, do they say the same about Netflix? You know, you don't have to get the blue check mark. You don't have to do that. And I find it funny that these leftists keep threatening that they're going to leave. Well, go leave. But they will be back because whatever platform they go to will get fucking boring. And it, it, it might even, it might even make, it might even wake them up to see how far the left is actually going and come back and be like, dude, these people are fucking nuts, man. It might even like be a good thing that they leave for a little while. They might even like, they might start thinking for themselves coming to realizations I know that's a really hard thing <clears throat> um okay so with all that's now I want to talk about myself like I usually just go on and talk about myself but this this you know what I definitely want to talk about this because this is why people don't want to fucking work no more this is why people are quitting their fucking jobs quiet quitting um, and you don't know what company I work for. Um, so. And you know, if they ever find out, fuck it, I don't care. I'll get another job. Nobody, nobody wants to do the, the dirty jobs anyway. And I've done dirty jobs the last 25 years of my life. I'll probably end up doing the rest of my life anyway. So it's, it fucking doesn't matter. Anyway, so at my job, I've been working there since March, okay? They hired me for one thing, and then they decided to, which I'm glad they did. And at first I was apprehensive about doing it, but they decided to switch me to a different building, doing something that I didn't want to really do. I was just doing it because they needed help. Um, so I came into the, the paint building doing powder coating 
you know, it was just, they, they were just starting the building. It was only one guy there, so they needed some guy to help, so they sent me there. And the only thing I knew how to do was drive a fucking forklift, okay? Well, that is it. That's all I knew how to do. Now, I know how to powder coat. I know how to sandblast. I'm helping out with all these different things. Like, almost to the point where... Almost to the point where... I'm like... Not officially running it or nothing like that the other day, but um, helping out. Being, I'm always that guy that um, is a supporter, right? Um, I keep things going. I keep things moving. Um, keep the system going. Keep the beast fed, right? <clears throat> We're completely overstaffed right now. They just hired a couple people for no fucking reason. Um... One would have been okay, but they hired two. So now we're just like completely overstaffed. Um, and, and when I'm in a s environment where I feel like I'm overstaffed, I don't feel like I want to be there no more. I feel like I have no purpose. Somebody else has already filled my spot. So like, what am I doing? Just standing around? I don't like the other extreme where it's like, Ex extremely understaffed. I like I like my back against the wall slightly. Keeps me motivated, but not drastically. So I've got this all learned. They bring in people making more money than me. Um, and I'm not getting any fucking raises. <laughs> And, you know, dealing with the, uh, this huge inflation and my supervisors already told my fucking manager that uh, I need a raise. And he told him this a couple of months ago. Nothing. Dude, my manager doesn't even fucking look at me. I don't fucking carry his fucking dick anyway. Um, this is why I don't think I don't think too highly of mid fucking management people. Because they act like they're all fucking too good. And I work for a company that's a small company, man. It's not one of these big-ass fucking companies. And I'm fucking, I've, I've, I've seen this in different places where managers just don't connect with the, the regular people. They don't give a fuck. All they care about is themselves. And they might be under a lot of stress. But, you know, developing a relationship with the people that you want to try to tell people what to do. Like, it's probably a good idea. You don't have to get into like drinking, drinking buddies, but like get a good, <clears throat> good understanding of, get to know your employees a little bit better. That way, when you do reprimand them, it's not like fuck you. The only reason you're talking to me is because I did something bad. Um, uh, and I understand that's got to be hard to punish people that um, you're cool with, but. You know, that's, this is a business, okay, um, but, so, yeah, uh, <clears throat> there's all these little problems, like, little computer fucking shit, which is, anybody can fucking solve, really, but, um, and I, and I kind of get lucky, I just hit some numbers, I, I, I really do get lucky with a lot of shit that I, f I figured out, um, because I'm definitely not, advanced in computers, I don't give a fuck about learning about computers, um, I don't care about being no fucking IT guy, I fucking care about that shit, and I should, I really should, because I, I fucking tired of getting filthy, I hate it, um, but we already have a ton of IT guys out here, Why the, what, we need, we need hard workers, the problem is, is the hard workers aren't compensated well enough, and this is why I'm not staying at my fucking job, you know, and I'm not going to, they'll probably come at me in a few months when they come up with fucking yearly reviews or whatever the hell they do here. I don't know. Companies like to do that. Let's have a yearly review when everyone's getting fucking bashed all year with fucking like 9%. Well, how they used to, uh, 
ballot measure it. Fucking 20%, 17% inflation. <clears throat> That's why I say the hourly wage is a bunch of bullshit, man. It really is. Um, but this is where I say it's like, I'm more than capable of running this fucker. I really, I, I'm more than capable of running the shop. I really am. And there's a couple people above me that deserve it. Definitely. But what I'm saying is I can run some shop somewhere else someday. But, and I've been in this spot where I could potentially become a supervisor. You know, I know my shit, get, you know, know the protocol pretty cool with the fucking crew, but I still get looked down on, I still get overlooked, and I don't get opportunities, I never got an opportunity, never get opportunities, there's one time I got opportunity to be a supervisor, right, it was at fucking Wendy's, I worked there for two fucking months, and I had a kid on the way, so I went, went across the street and worked at uh, Arby's too, so they ended up giving me a raise, and I quit Arby's, and then they promoted me to be a supervisor, and a lot of people were pissed about that, and I didn't even really fucking want it, didn't even fucking want it, but I did pretty solid, I did pretty fucking solid, um, but for, for whatever reason, this is why I get fucking frustrated, I complain, I get pissed, because I'm so overlooked, um, undervalued, um, and I don't, I don't care about being appreciated. I don't need a pat on the fucking back. Um, I just want to be compensated properly. I like to be compensated well enough so I can, um, pay my fucking bills. I'm kind of lucky cause my rent is so fucking cheap for the time being. And I know it's going to go up. Um, but yeah, people, people, you know, aren't getting paid well enough. And that's why they're quiet quitting. And that's why I'm not going to stay with this company. And when I go to another company, they'll do the same fucking shit. It's the same fucking shit, man. And so I'll just go to another company and deal with the same fucking shit. Okay. Um, because companies just won't fucking change. And that's what makes me think, like, this is a fucking simulation. Because you would think that people that run their company so fucking shitty, they would fucking... Um, Maybe not run the company, but managers run shit so bad that you would think that they would be fucking fired. Like, <clears throat> where I work at, the turnover rate is crazy. When I first came in here, and knowing that it was open for, like, 10, 15, 20 years, I was asking people, how long you worked here? And most people fucking lasted, like, they've only been there for, like, two years. Some people have been here, like, longer, but... um. A lot of people here are fucking new. And they have a high turnover rate. The job's not the funnest. I mean, it's it's kind of brutal. But listen. People usually quit because of their boss. And I've told this to the fucking owner. I've told this to him. I said, listen. I mean, the, the turnover rate's pretty fucking bad. But they... I don't know, man. I don't. I don't know why... Well, yes, I do. It's probably because they kiss fucking ass pretty good. Um, and that's what it comes down to, kissing fucking ass. You want to get ahead in the company. You don't want to come off like you work too hard. Because if you work too hard, then they don't want to fucking replace you. Um, it's Because it's hard to fucking replace your production. And then you look like the fucking direct threat to take their job. And it just, when you want to move up, it, it comes down to politics. It comes down to um, relationship with the boss. Whoever the, your boss is, it could be a supervisor. It could be a fucking manager. It, it comes down to kissing fucking ass. Sucking dick. And I'm not that person. I've never been that person. I'm cool. I'm generally cool with everyone I work with. You know, everyone seems to be really cool with me. Um, they're kind of, right now, people are kind of like weary of me. They think that I'm all quiet and I'm just doing it intentionally. I, 
I just don't want to get really get to know anybody because I know I'm moving. I don't want to be here anymore. I fucking hate my town. That's the main thing. I fucking hate my town. I hate this fucking town. I hate it. Um, but dude, I, I just, I don't fucking care, man. Like this, this is why good employees leave because they don't get treated with respect and fucking dignity. You know, when your fucking manager just walks right by you, doesn't even fucking acknowledge you. Doesn't even fucking say, hey, <laughs> that's your leader. That's your fucking leader. Like what? What is a, a a regular employee supposed to go up to a fucking uh, a manager? He's probably got a lot on his mind. And be like, "Hey, how's it going?" No, that should be. You know, that's why these people in charge. A lot, a lot of these fucking places I've worked at, these fucking managers, they might know a thing or two about some things, but uh, when it comes to dealing with people, they are fucking retarded, man. They're not good at all dealing with people. And managing people, and that's that's where it comes down to is is they're supposed to be working for us, not us working for them. They're supposed to be like we're out. The lowest workers are the ones doing all the fucking hard work. They're the ones producing this shit, and and the people above them are supposed to be making sure that whatever they're producing gets shipped out. They get the material they fucking need to produce the shit that they're making. All the supplies, all the PPE, all that's their fucking job. They should be working for the employee, but it's all ass backwards. And that's why you see the younger generation saying, fuck this shit. High taxes? Why? Why, why would I work hard? I got to get in there and like I said, if a coworker finds this video and shows it to and exposes me, Oh, fucking well, I guess. That's life. Hopefully this video helps somebody out. Maybe um, open somebody's fucking eyes.